Okay, Jared, here's a version of Heart of Stone, um, Rolling Stones, and it goes like this. It starts on a G7 open chord. Um, the bass runs obviously would be probably played by a bass guitar, but they sound quite nice. They're, they're classic bass runs, and you could use them in things like um, "If You Ever Change Your Mind." Well, it's a similar kind of bass run. So it's an open G seventh chord, and it goes to the C, no. and then you have the bass run, which slide on the A note all the way up to the ninth fret. Sorry, seventh fret. Uh, fifth fret, so you're playing. Ending up back there, so you're going. Okay, and switching to the F chord. It's an F, you could play it like that if you need to, but good to get in the habit of playing a fist to F. And then you're playing the same thing here. So sliding up to the seventh fret on the bass, E bass, A. So it goes up to the root note F. So and play the F again. Then switch to D. D, and then you're on your way to the main sort of run, which is the slide up from the G to A minor. Now, this bit you can basically start switching from one to the other, and immediately you play the uh, the the G. So. So I mean. It's, I seem to, seem to be starting to play a minor chord, in other words, lifting up my finger here. Because the difference between a major and a major, minor chord, as you probably know, is that finger. You take that finger away, you get a minor chord. So, for example, if, if I'm playing this, G major, take that away, it becomes G, G minor. Likewise here, A, A minor. So I'm going G, G minor. Very simple song. Obviously, if, if there's a chorus, if, sorry, if there's a solo, it's played over the original solo is played over the A minor. So while that while that A minor was playing, someone was you know, Brian Jones probably was tootling away. Okay, um, have a go at that one. See how you get on.